not interested in selling it, but it seems like everybody that has a moderately cool car, this is what they do on YouTube. So I actually sold a car to CarMax one time before, and they were actually really fair. So I had an Evo 10, it was just a terrible daily driver, and I just, I couldn't do it. It got 200 miles to a tank, I was driving really far for work. I just had to get rid of it, so I took it to CarMax, and in my mind, I was expecting a certain number, and if I got that number, I would go ahead and get rid of it. And lo and behold, I took my car to get appraised. They were really nice and professional there, and they actually gave me about three or four thousand dollars more than what I was thinking I was going to get. So the cool thing about it too is they give you a week or two, I think, to accept the offer and uh, take the deal if you want it. Now I'm not in any way, shape, or form interested in selling this car unless they, I mean, offer me an astronomical amount. But they're realistically not going to just because of all the mods and stuff that are done in this car. It's got 48,000 miles. It's wrapped. It's got a wing. It's got coilovers on it. Um, an exhaust. That's why my check engine light is on because there's no cats. And my tire pressure sensor quit working randomly on the way here. All in all, it's a really clean car. I just washed it. So that has to add a couple thousand dollars, I'm sure. Let me know in the comments below what you think they're going to give me for it and uh, if I should take the deal. If I had to guess, I think they're going to offer me right around $24,000. 25,000 or so for the car which I mean they they have to make money on it so I understand that completely the wraps don't add value or mods for that matter don't add value to the car if anything it probably hurts it just because the clientele or the like the market that it appeals to is a little bit more slim I don't know I could we could be surprised but we won't know until we get there and it looks like we're roughly six minutes away So we have arrived at CarMax. Now I'm not gonna go inside and film everything because truthfully there's not really a whole lot to film. Basically what happens is you walk in, you don't need an appointment, you go in, you ask to uh, get your car appraised. It's a free process and they send a tech, which is this guy right here. They're gonna look for dings and issues with the car. They're more likely gonna test drive it, which I can go along with them if I want, I guess, which I probably will just because of the car and um, they go in the back room, they talk about it, they make a few phone calls, and uh, they go ahead and they give you an offer. I'm gonna go in there, get everything set up, we'll see what they say. getting started so aside from the wrap and the wing I'm not certain. You couldn't get it started? No, I'm just starting. Oh gotcha. <laughs> Sounds like it's camped up and stuff, huh? It definitely says aftermarket exhaust on it. But the way it's running, yeah. <laughs> nice. I'll see Alright. Alright guys, so the Corvette is getting appraised right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the lot and see what we have here. Now the cool thing about CarMax is they really have a car for every sort of need. You have luxury sedans, you have your like kind of cool car section. They have SUVs, Jeeps, uh, really anything that you need they have here. But something kind of caught my eye while I was looking around and it is this M4. It's got this sweet little sensor here to tell you if you're close to something. The recessed wheels look good. They are asking 47,000 for it. So 2015, it's really not that bad of a price. Carbon fiber, that's really cool. But no, so like I was saying, the nice thing about CarMax is they have a no-haggle price. You don't have to worry about like negotiating back and forth. So whatever you see on the car is what you're gonna get. That's what you're gonna pay for. And they're not commissioned. It's a no pressure sale. It's just a really good model. You got some SUVs over here. There's something that caught my eye over this way. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look. Look at this juke. Not really sure how I feel about the yellow and blue. Kind of different. Nice little accent, I guess. Real clean inside. They're asking $14,998 for that. Got a bunch of blue on it. Let's see what else we got here. Like I was saying, if you want to have a sports car, they have those here. If you want an SUV, they got those there. They're a non-commission based sales place. So you don't have to worry about getting ripped off. You got an MX-5. 
You want 17,000 for this guy. That one's already sold. We got a 370Z with a bunch of bird shit on the side. You kind of think that they would uh, clean that off. 17,000, but this is what we came here for, boys. This is what I wanted to see. Maybe this could be the new car on the channel. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should take the deal, whatever it is, and buy the C7. It's a real nice blue. I'm not sure how it's gonna show up on the camera because it is a little bit dark out. Uh, oh no, it's sold. Okay, so maybe that's not gonna be the new car on the channel, but I have been thinking about maybe getting a C7. What is this guy? WRX maybe, STI, 23.9, that's not bad. And a manual, of course. All right, so we're gonna head back into CarMax and see what they offer me. We are on our way home. I just got the appraisal. Right there it is. I'm not gonna say what they offer me right now. I'm a little bit surprised, truthfully, by the whole thing. Go ahead and leave a comment right now. Let me know what you think that they offered me for my car. And then uh, I will show you guys here in a little bit. I don't know why I just walked through my door. My garage door is completely open. But anyway, so I forgot to film an outro the other day. I do have to reveal the CarMax appraisal. Now, some of you guys were pretty close with your guesses in Instagram, but nobody quite got it right on the dot. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and show you. The CarMax appraisal offer was $19,000. It says that my exhaust is missing parts, which I'm assuming means the cats, and then the dash engine light is on. Now they did leave a few notes that said, Corvette runs very well, customized, thank you again for coming in, blah, blah, blah. So a lot of the people that actually worked at CarMax went ahead and quit what they were doing, walked outside to take pictures, talk. It was actually a really cool experience. But don't let this steer you from taking your car to CarMax. If you do want to get it appraised, they're a great company. It's just not necessarily the right place to try to sell a car like this or really even this one. Now I'll give you a little update on the garage. We did get the ceiling put in. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this wall and this wall right here. And uh, we might be adding something new to the channel. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.